In this video, we'll be beating every Black Ops 4 Zombies Easter egg from the Chaos Story. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the greatest Zombies maps ever created by Treyarch. And, and, and a map that has to be respected in Black Ops 4 Zombies. And this is 9. Today, we're going to be doing the Easter egg. I'm so excited for this. I, I've genuinely been waiting to play this map for so long. And uh, I've never done the Easter egg on solos. So this will be new for all of us. I can't wait to just show you why this map is without question a top 10 map. Might even be a top 5 map. First of all, you're in a massive Roman Colosseum with a live audience watching your every move. The atmosphere on this map is absolutely second to none. I, I love it so much. I also like how you can get an extra quick revive or revive by doing very, very little. I just really think this is one of the most creative maps that we've ever had inside of Zombies. It just suits Zombies incredibly well. All right, let's pop my Perkaholic while I'm unlocking the Pack-A-Punch. That is so much better. The first thing I say I really like about this map is just how easy it is to get the Pack-A-Punch. It's as simple as just opening the four towers of the map, smashing down a gong, and then killing the enemy that spawns. It's very, very simple. And already we've got Pack-A-Punch ready to go. It just really fits feels like a map that's living and breathing. The announcer just shouting stuff at you for doing well. I absolutely love it. Straight away, we should gain access to the Pack-A-Punch. And we can begin the Easter egg, but we also need to get the Wonder Weapon, which has its own little mini quest. Now, just to make my life a little bit easier, we need the Specialist, so let's grab that. If we go up to here, we can see a skull, which if we use our Specialist, we can pick up. That skull we just picked up, we need to make our way to the Flooded Crypt, which we are here, and we need to find a Grinder, which is going to be there now we need the wonder weapon for this next step so we can't really progress without it so let's get that and to start there's this bowl in this window that you just gotta shoot hello is it working there we go and what it's gonna do is the fire is gonna light up through there and actually make the shape of an arrow pointing to a tower that we need to go to as we can see there it is and it's pointing towards the zeus tower okay i can't read arrows to save my life it's not there it's here and there it is now we use this head along with two other parts which is going to be for uh, an acid trap so that's one part there and then we grab the other part there in that corner and okay, for this last crap part we need to actually complete the challenge so there we go and now i love how we can have a pack a punch gun on round three or four but there we go there's the final part of that so now let's go and craft it and now we should be able to put the skull down like that activate the trap and it's gonna melt this thing down into some sort of scorpion key oh look there it is easy so now i need to get full crowd affinity so you see that thumb that's like pointing up and shining there we need to basically get it to where they are super super happy with me so i think we just need to just slay out i need to keep that for an entire round okay there we go a gift from Sir Ket, but where is it? There it is. So they've thrown this pot down. Okay, so with that jar and that key, we go and pop it here. And now that tree is going to start extracting some weird liquid that's going to let us poison the mystery box. I think it's such a cool little egg. And I've got firebomb, which we'll need a little bit later. Okay, one round later, and it is pack to the brim and now what we do we just go to the corner of the mystery box to poison it and there we go guaranteed wonder weapon i'm in through and there it is death of orion so now we've got this we now need to charge up the skull here with three shots of the death of orion so that's one of them also did you know you can spam the wonder weapon by pressing the shoot button and the reload button at the same time thank code name peace for teaching me that but it makes the weapon so much better than it is it's not bad by any means but it's not that viable in later rounds but when you spam it it's fantastic so the effect when you charge it is it will do effect on zombies like that and it will also slow them down but here we go that stuff's all grinded we have some weird powder now we've got this weird powder we now need to get a plank of wood from the gladiator who throws it and destroys it here you guys probably remember this okay, he's a little bit damaged but i'm sure he'll still do it that sounded like something fell off there. There we go. We got that. And now with said wooden plank, we come to the Odin Tower and we place it here in this cauldron, which needs to be there for three rounds, I think. There's a lot of Easter egg steps that you'll notice where we're going to have to be pushing rounds a lot. And what we also need is we need a uh, maximum low crowd efficiency you get that by going through fire, but also just by shooting them with rockets. So I'm just going to do that. I didn't realize you could do that, but look, they are in uproar. They are not happy. So now we're waiting for an item to be available, which when they throw it should be 
poop. Who would have thought in a Call of Duty Zombies map, you would have poop thrown at you? It's such an odd game, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. The crowd aren't happy. And there's my poop. Thank you very much, lads. And oh man, I've not missed Blight Fathers. It's so easy. This is the best wonder weapon in Black Ops 4. There's no doubt. And okay, let's check on that charcoal. It is done. Now we've got the bone mesh. We've got the poop. we got the charcoal. We're now going to place it in a bowl here. And then we've got to wait. Two rounds. You can see a bit of a pattern emerging, can't you? It's just it's just burning rounds, this Easter egg. But I guess the reason they've done it is so that people have a reason to play and go through the trials and stuff and all the challenges. And the map is quite challenging in the higher rounds. So we just got one more. Then we can pick that up. And then we go on to the next actual Easter egg step. Okay, our fertilizer is now ready. You can see it's green and smoking. So now we've got to place it down in the Danu Tower. And uh, we then got to wait a few more rounds. Okay, that's it down there. We've got to wait three rounds now. Three rounds. Yo, let's go. We've got the homunculus as well. We are looking set. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of my favorite steps in this Easter egg. So now that we're finally ready, you can see the fertilizer is green. It's smoking. We need to kill a zombie with firebomb. On top of this, we have to actually have the effect go on. So this could take a little while. I might genuinely have to get rid of this and then try and get it back later. I might regret the decision, but I just don't think the Helion can actually, you know do the effect because it just kills the zombie so quick let's see and if not it will just make for a funny funny video regardless right but once you've activated the fire bomb you then need to use your specialist weapon and kill i don't know if this works on a special round but we can try okay let's try this again specialist kills on here is the only way that this apparently works but how does it activate i don't think people know to this day there we go finally it just seems to be complete random Okay, how quickly can we take this out without having to even throw a homunculus? I'm going to throw one anyway, just to be on the safe side. But for this step, we're transported to a different version of the map, which is amazing. Now you can see it's like a very similar version of the Anu Tower that we were just in, but it's nighttime. There we go. And our next one, such a cool step. Now you can see the sky is literally full of stars. And there we go. Step completed lovely so now there are spots outside the map but we need to shoot with our shield gun and it's going to spawn in an enemy next up is called answer the dawn so we've got to look around the map everywhere so you can see there's one there we're looking for like ball icons which means we've got to shoot it with our shield which is the brazen ball so essentially every time we shoot one of those it will spawn a boss as you can see here and we need to kill that boss and its soul goes towards raw you can see that that Zombie is just kind of spinning, doing its own thing. Okay, we do have one there, even though the icon didn't look like it was an icon. Here's our second bar. As you can see, he's spinning around. Funny enough, we're playing this in 2022, but you can glitch this still. Treyarch have not fixed this since it's come out, but you can shoot all four of these, spawn all four, and kill all four at the exact same time, and it will only count as one soul, and uh, it glitches, and you literally can't do anything. You have to do do the whole easter egg again start start all over which is not cool at all but there we go there's our third one and there's the fourth one there we go step is complete we can go on to the next one okay this next step genuinely scares me i i hate getting this wrong but essentially ra has made this symbol and we're now going to play a game where we have to kill a specific enemy that flashes up on this so let's activate it and let's not get this wrong okay so here we go the first one is a brawler Next is fire, which is horrible. That is gladiator. And that is water. Okay, so we need to kill a brawler first. I just got this KN as I was scared. Um, just in case. Okay, that's a brawler. That's him down. Fire. That's fire down. Okay, we've got a gladiator down there. Okay, and the water is following us. There we go. Whew! Who would have thought doing this with a Helion Salvo... Would have actually even been easy. But there we go. Ra is going for it. And we can go again, I think. Yep, here we go. Round two. So our symbols are Light Father, Poison, Brawler, Electric. Okay, pray for me. This is going to be horrendous. I need to kill this Blight Father like immediately. He's already spawned. Okay, there he is. Oh, and the Electric's there as well. It's fine. We just need to go to the next round. Not a problem. Honestly, that was pretty horrendous. Hey, let's try this again. What are we getting? Tiger. Light father. Water. Electric. Okay. 
As soon as I see that tiger, he is dead. There's a tiger. All right, that's good. I just need to kill this blight ASAP. I need to also find where it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the blight is very close to death. Very, very close. No! Oh, first down. Okay, can I can I take it down while we're down at least? I can just pop my perker. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, there's the blight down. Oh, God. Okay, and the water and the electric. Okay, there's water. No! How did I miss? I'm actually getting nervous. Okay, there's the water down. Now just the electric. Yes, let's go. Woo! Let's go. Okay. Let's get to the end of this round and get to the next step. Now that step's complete. We need to go and interact with this pillar in the middle of the spawn. As we can hear, something's happened. And now we're underground. And I think we're stuck down here. And we need to shoot these screws up in the arena in order to get us out. There we go. That one's done. Got another one up there. There we go. That one's gone. Third one here. I love how I don't even need to shoot with the shield. I can just shoot with my uh, super overpowered rocket and that one's done. Okay, not good dying wish. So we'll do that. And then this is the final one. Okay, and there we're done. A great storm approaches. And now if we go to spawn, we can see that these poles have appeared out of nowhere. And we've got to kill zombies using kilowatt. But again, I'm worried we can't because this is too powerful. So we've got to get rid of circuits kiss again, which I don't want to do. Okay, now we actually have kilowatt. So it stuns a zombie like that, and then the energy will go up in there. Who's got to train a load of zombies, get the kilowatt, and then kill them? And we've got to do that in all four corners of the arena. Wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. Okay, there we go. Got some electrocuted. Boom. I'll tell you, this is not easy. <laughs> this is not easy. Yeah, doing this on round 31, this is, this is hardcore, man, because you've got all these gladiators. And they will happily slice and kill any zombies that you're training up. Okay, and now we've got Luna as well, which no one wants. Okay, two down. Come on. Okay, on to the final one now. So it literally is just killing stuff with kilowatt. And before, there we go. Nice, nice, there we go. All right, so now we need to go and interact with this. And it's going to spawn us into a infinite ammo specialist a boss special enemy fight. So as you can see here, this is a really cool step. Like, look how different the map is. And uh, here we go. So unlimited specialist. That's kind of dope. We just got to survive this. And it doesn't sound difficult. This does get very, very, very hectic very quickly. Like, if you're not paying attention, you can easily get overwhelmed here. Like, look, I'm already red screened. What the heck's going on? Oh! <gasps> No! Oh, my last one! No, bro. Okay. If I've lost Mule Kick as well, at the fight I have, I'm, I've lost the circuit at the final moment. I lost the Helion? How does that make any sense? No! I've lost the Helion! I, mean, I can try and get it back at least. We do have Mule Kick, but that's annoying. You see what I mean? This is not easy by any means. Like, good grief. I think I picked the wrong specialist. No! Okay, I was not gonna stop there. So we are going for attempt number two two on this now i think the way to play this is you don't have to use the specialist it's unlimited but you don't have to use it but i also have a far better specialist than what i did when we last tried this uh, this is just a case of surviving you don't have to do anything special you don't have to necessarily just wipe everything that you see it's more just a case of surviving but yeah hammer of valhalla so much better yeah, but as you can see i don't even really need to use a specialist i have the most powerful weapon in the game just do this instead yeah this hammer is so op like look how much easier this has been than what we were using like are you kidding me this is a cakewalk dude oh jesus oh jesus somehow i'm red screened so i'm gonna put this away yeah this is getting a little hectic still oh my god i'm in dying wish jesus I take back everything i said okay we're done we're done oh my god Let's go. Not even gone down once yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Okay, so if I remember this step correctly, there's a bunch of symbols and you need to like aim them in a certain way. Shoot them with the F of Orion. There we go. That worked. I remember there was just like yeah, a jump shot you had to do and we got it that time. Okay, so this one, I remember it was a nasty one, but hey, we got it. First go. Let's go. The last one's here in the pit, right? There. I don't think that worked. We'll try it again. I think you've got to really, really hug the wall. Shoot, there we go. That's it. Okay, so now I believe we've got to stand on this. And as you see, water's flowing through into this grate. We've got to stand here for about 20 seconds. And then I think the step starts where we're in like a lockdown. And after that, it's boss fight time. I am so ready. Okay, there we go. It was taking its time. I think maybe because we're on a special round, but... 
I get so scared doing this step. So scared. So I'm going to activate the trap. I reckon we got this, especially with this. If we didn't have this, then I'd be nervous. And what I will say is this is a good egg off the solo. Like it is difficult. Not the hardest in the game, but like I said at the start of the video, definitely up there. The fact I did not do this on first attempt shows. Okay, here we go. Here's the blighty. Been waiting for you. But again, with this, it's just such a cakewalk. It really is. Okay, and ironically out of ammo. Oh dear. I could pop my maxi or use my uh, raindrops. Let's see how long I can last without it. Let's use it now. Why not? Treat myself. It's all gone very quiet. Okay, there we go. I had to pick up the key. There we go. We've done it. I think, yeah. We've done it. Oh, we've done it. Now we are boss fight ready time. Let's go. Let's travel to that boss arena. I've been waiting so long for this. Such a good boss fight. Here we go. Like the fact you've got a whole new arena just for this. And here we go. The grand unveiling. Doesn't start off with it. We just have uh, a load of bosses. Look at them all waving at me. They're like, yo, he done it. Let's go. Oh my God. Just look at how many there are. I love how big and spacious this arena is. You've really got so much room to just run around and do whatever you want. You think they would have learned at this point? Why are they just sending so many gladiators at me? They're all dying in one shot. The fact this has a tracking thing as well. Oh, it just makes it so easy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I've been waiting so long to fight this elephant again. Right, here we go. Let's go ahead and throw her monk. Although I think we're going to wreck this thing so quick. Oh, so what's awesome is what's on its back. is just a bunch of AI throwing stuff at you. It's so clever. So I think we've got to destroy that first. No, we don't. We can just get his armor off, right? expose what's underneath okay there we go his armor's been shattered right i'm gonna throw another hamung grab the max ammo okay and i'll go 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 and there we go i think he's down but you're like wait that was a quick and easy boss but actually there's more you see his soul goes to another door and we get another elephant i just love this by trait like they add this in and there's just so much suspense you think you've done it and then there's there we go there's the other one okay let's go oh i thought this would be an absolute cakewalk and it is but it takes a lot more damage than i remember okay that should be the armor gone goodbye ai look at that you just fall to the floor all right here we go let's see how quickly my boy goes down. Okay, so far, he's eaten up eight shots. Is that enough? Ah, yes, it is. And boom. Poor elephant. See you later, buddy. And there we have it. Nine complete. One of the best maps in Black Ops Zombies history. I'm without doubt one of the best maps in this game. And then we get this crazy climactic ending. I still really like this ending. Like, when we first got this in 2018... We were so confused. We never really learned who this guy is. The disrespect of Scarlet here. Oh, man, these cutscenes, man. They were insane. To be all, like, live in-engine. So when we get a face of him, we're like, oh, my God, what the heck? Who is this guy? What's happened? And then this is disgusting. Just this floating head. And the rest of them just dead. And you're like, wait, these characters are already dead? And we just got introduced to him. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was nine. Let's jump over to the next map. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the voyage of despair. What I would say is the hardest BO4 map, the hardest Easter egg. I'm not looking forward to this one, but we are going to do it. And this is my very first time doing this egg on solo. So I am scared. Anyway, first portal call, shopping free. Let's get this map open and done with. Now, I need to be getting shield pass. I need to be getting the Kraken upgrade. But this is such an overwhelming map in Easter egg. There's a lot to do. The first thing was getting that Sentinel artifact. And now we've got to activate the Pack-a-Punch. Also, I just realized I do not have the right perks on. But let's pop Perkaholic. Oh, damn. Why do I not have Quick Revive on? This is not good, guys. This is not good. Let's go and activate the second Pack-a-Punch right there. All right, swim down to the engine room and grab the third one. Once we're down here, drain the water as well. And last but not least, open up the mail rooms. We have a total of zero points. And there's the last Pack-a-Punch pedestal. That's probably the easiest part of this whole map is just getting Pack-a-Punch. Now that's done, we now have the next step to change the agents of change is to change everything. So around the map, a lot of clocks like this will have changed. And there's a symbol near it as well, which we're going to need. So that one there is the air symbol. So we look at that and then we look at the clock here, which is 1.15. We jump to the first class lounge. We've got another one there. That's a symbol for water. And the time on this clock is 3 well, 250, but we're going to write that as 350 anyway. We've got another symbol here in third class births. That is Earth. And the time for Earth is 
10 past two. So our last clock has to be here in the galley, which we needed to go to anyway. So there we go. There is fire. And the time there is 1.45. But we're going to write two nine. Now we've got all those times. We have to come over to the bridge and we have these wheels that we need to move to the minutes for each clock with each symbol. So starting over, I've got a little uh, image up here on my other monitor here. So this one was air and the minute was on three. So we go one, two, three. This one, the minute was 10. This is on 12 at the moment. So 11, 10. This was on two. So one, two, and it doesn't go any further. So that's got to be right. And this one was on nine. So 11, 10, nine. Okay. And then we have to come to the poop deck and these clocks here, this one is air and this one is earth. So my air clock had a one, which was the hour. So there we go. One. And then earth was a two. So one, two there we go and here in the engine room we have the clocks for fire and water so i need to not mess this up so i believe fire was on two move that to two and water was three ten so one two three oh you hear that noise we got it boys within the chain of phases all is conceived no joke i've done a practice run of this map and i did not get the clock step right at all even though it seemed right but thank god we got that done so the next step is we need to go a few rounds until we get the elemental zombie spawning but as you can see that there is a plug which is sparking fire there's another one down there that's sparking electricity we need to do this by killing that elemental by that plug once per round for each elemental until we've got them all done. And then we can go ahead and do a bunch of survival lockdowns. But before we can even do that, we need to be hitting the box and trying our hand at getting something good. And by good, I mean the heli on salvo. <laughs> oh, let's go homunculus. All right, that's one good thing. We just need to get the two other good things in this map. Come on. Oh, let's go. Heli on salvo. Let's go. First priority. Let's get that Helion upgraded. Let's go, baby. Kraken. So we have the Kraken. We have the Helion. And we've got Homunculus on round seven. This is a huge dub. Okay, round nine. We finally have our first elemental. And it's an electric, which I believe is here. Hey, uh, there we go. We just need to kill the electric next to the plug like this. And that should have done it. Yeah, as you can see, it's created this little circle. And if we interact with it, we'll be teleported to a lockdown. But we don't want to do it yet. There is an order in which you need to activate each one. And we are not in the right order yet. Okay, we've got a water boy here. And the staterooms has a water plug. So... We just need to make sure we kill a water one in here. This is a risky place. Oh my God. All right, I think we got it that time. Yep, we got that. Okay, around 11, we've got a fire outlet. We just need a fire zombie. And here we go. We've got ourselves the stoker, the boss of this map. And hey, would you look at that? We've got a fire zombie. Let's go. Right, needs to get close enough. And that should have been enough. Our so last outlet is here in first class and we need a poison zombie, which is ironically the first thing we activate in order to do this step. Okay, here we go. There's the poison. Come on, come to papa. Boom! And I think we should be good to start this Easter egg. So we use we hold interact and it begins. So we have to do a series of lockdowns starting here on the poop deck where we have a load of poison zombies. Every time we kill them, you see their souls sort of go up towards the sentinel artifact there. And also look what we have here. The bane of my existence on chaos maps. I hate these dudes. Without the Helion Salvo, man, this would be so hard. I'm about to run out of ammo. So let's grab that max ammo and let's keep killing more poison. There we go. I was about to say, surely that felt like a long time, but there we go. It is done. And now we can pick up the Sentinel artifact. Now we've done that one. Our next one is water, which is in stateroom. So I think this one's actually quite a um, yeah, quite an intense one because we're underwater for like practically the whole time. We're locked in. We're going to have water boys. We're going to have more light fathers. Bring it on, I say. Bring it on. See, how does a homunculus work underwater? Is it Does it work well? Let's find out. Oh, it does. Oh, God. And there's the blight father. And there we go. That wasn't bad at all. I was expecting a max ammo, but I don't think there was. Sometimes we get one, sometimes we don't. Okay, this third one is electric. So here we go. Oh, and there's a max ammo. Oh, let's go. Well, I've got one homunk, so I'm going to chuck it. Grab the max ammo. And we've already got a blight father in. Like, really, game? Really? So far, this Easter egg isn't actually that bad. But it's mainly going to be the planet step, which I'm not going to like. Okay, and there we go. Phew! Lovely jubbly. And now the final one. Oh, my God. And we're in the boiler room. Oh, my God. This is, this is without question the worst one or oh, i'm nervous right i'm chucking i'm chucking a hummunk already the goal is just to get rid of all the fire boys i really should start using this thing okay we're done oh i remember that being so much more difficult than it was all right and we need to pick this up and there we go that is that step done there we go the next step before the flame your hubris is devoured okay we've got a poison i'm gonna kill it please 
There we go. Concentrated decay. All right, let's convert this thing. There we go. Jaw Mangda's Fang is what we need. But for this step, if you guys remember, in this room, there are a ton of leaking pipes that we need to shoot with our Kraken. For example, there's one. There's two. We got another one up there, I think. Hello. There we go. Another one out there because they are all blue pipes. So I just need to keep an eye out. So we've got another one up there. Another one just shot there. And there's one sneakily there in the dark. Oh, and there's one up here as well. That is so hard to see, but there we go. And as you can see, the room is now filling up with water and it's going to put out all the flames that were apparently in this room. Okay, let's end the round and the pack-a-punch machine should appear in front of us. Yep, there we go. And we should be able to pack a punch the Sentinel artifact. Look at that. And we got a lovely shiny blue one. So there we go. And that's a step done. Right, let's pack a punch this. Got some spare points. Okay, the next step is moving on to what I'm dreading because I've never done it on solo, the planet step. Before we start that, we need to activate like nine symbols around the map that link to the step. So I remember one of them being here. There we go. We've got one sneakily here. We've got one here, mail rooms. One there. I remember that one because it's what we're in a bathroom. It's so random. And there's one here, millionaire suites. It's coming back to me. Got the moon chilling there. Got one here in the engine room. Got one here in the boiler room. I can get to it. Hello. There we go. And last but no means least, the sun at the forecastle. So now we can move on to the step that I am dreading. I have never ever done it on solo before. I'm nervous. I'm going to be pausing a lot because I'm going to be writing a lot of stuff down. But here we go. This is it. The step that I hate so much, the planet step. So it's going to be Neptune, Venus, the moon, Mercury, Uranus, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, the sun. Let's do this. Okay, the first one is... So the first one's Neptune and it's floating out in the water somewhere and we got to wait until we can see it. Okay, I see it. I see it. Shoot that and then let's make our way. Come on. There we go. Okay, we got that one. Okay, Venus. I believe it's this one. Come on, please. Please be right. Okay, I think we got it right. I think we got it right. I just need to get there in time. Come on. Yep, we got it. We got it. We got it. Sweet. Okay, the next one is the literal moon. And that's in the lower grand staircase. So let's go, let's go. And this one's here in this window. Let's get it. And the next one is in male rooms. And I'm going to chuck a hummock because it's a small purple. So not that one. Okay, I believe it's this one. All right, come on. Don't let me down. Yep, yep. Right, we got that one. Chucking another one. The next one is state rooms, which is the big purple one right there. And there it goes. Boom. And here we go in the bathroom. Okay, the next one is Saturn. And that's on the bridge. So let's chuck another hummock. Okay, there we go. Got that one. The next one is Mars in the boiler room. So let's shoot that. And go, 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 go. Time's a ticking. Come on. It's the worst one, bro. No. Our first down. Are you joking? Are we about to fail this? It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. No. No, 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 no. No, we wouldn't have failed it. Oh, I'm so, so pissed. Okay, we back. And all we have left is the sun, which is the easiest one, obviously. And, uh... Yeah, we got a very fun step after this. I don't think we're going to get it done, but we will try our best, okay? <laughs> so all I know is we need to destroy this. I'm going to chuck a Hummunk. I definitely think I need a bigger upgrade on my specialist in order for this to be easier, but we'll keep rocking and rolling through. Come on. I definitely noticed the next one coming up, which is going to be horrific. I believe we get a max ammo coming real soon. All right, there we go. All right. Let's just smash this down with our hammer. This really isn't it, is it? Jesus, look how weak this is. All right, there we go. Right, immediately popping a max ammo. That was shocking. All right, along we go, along we go. How monk going out? I really need to upgrade my specialist. Okay, there we go. We are about to be at the halfway point, I think. Okay, honestly, this might be the move instead. This thing is pretty decent. All right, there we go. All right, come on, Kraken. All right, there we go. All right, let's go again. Okay, there we go. All right, one more, one more, one more. Come on. This definitely was not the most efficient way to do it, but... We've made it. I think this is a mess. Look at how I'm doing this. This is Dark JD tutorial. Definitely didn't tell you to do this. Did we fail it? No, we failed it. Second time's a charm, ladies and gentlemen. We are boss fight ready. Hold to proceed. You won't come back from this. Oh man, this is... This feels mad that I've actually managed to do this egg on solo. Honestly, one of the hardest things, but it's not over yet. This is the boss fight, and it begins by us swimming inside the iceberg where we have all these, I assume, dead bodies of people that were on the Titanic? I don't know. But we need to interact with this. It binds with our Sentinel artifact, and this spawns the massive iceberg that is the boss fight. This whole thing's just beautiful. 
Beautiful. There's a lot of like really cool writing alongside the tree that means stuff, but um, I'm not quite sure. But I'm assuming that's all the planets or the energy from that in that Sentinel artifact that's now powering the tree. It's going to launch us in to this four phase boss fight. Honestly, one of the best boss fights in Call of Duty Zombies because it's so hardcore. It doesn't look all that menacing, just a massive iceberg, but... Yep, this is a scary boss. No doubts about that. And just look at the scale of this thing. It is absolutely gigantic. And it's floating. And there the boy is. So this first phase, we just need to survive it. That's all we need to do. I've only ever done this in co-op where it is really hectic. But for round 21, I want to jinx it. But it seems quite quiet at the moment. Now, we do have a max ammo waiting for us. So I'm just going to throw one Hamunk. Just because just makes it a little bit less stressful. I'd say we've had no Blight Fathers and then one of them spawns. It's brilliant. There we go. First phase down. So let's grab that and grab that. Or we'll get teleported to the second area. Now, this is the exact same as what we just did then, but we have to survive in here. Now, this is exactly the same as the last one, but this time we just have to survive in this room, which obviously is a lot scarier than that one. And we have the... the drops down there so i need to remember that we move oh blight father let's see one two three and he's dead okay first homunculus going out because why not and a second one i've okay, only got a few shots left in this i'm reckon this will end right as i run out of ammo oh of course another blight father okay we are done. I almost timed it perfectly, but there we go. Let's grab that and that. Now, this next phase is hella scary. Hella scary. Because we need to camp in, like, these sections here. And we've got to keep a watch out every time the eye shoots either left or right so that we can prone and uh, put some damage into it. Right, I'm going to chuck a Hamunk down just because... I'm a bit scared. But we need to predict when the eye is going to be moving. I have a left or right. There we go. And then just fire a load of shots into him. Okay, that, that was good. Good hits. Good hits. Right, for another one down. Okay, I might have to pick up this max ammo here. Just so I can chuck another Hamunk. Oh, God. Okay, and in the eye again, if we can. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that phase was nowhere near as bad as I remember it being. All right, and this one, we are on the side of the boat here. So I believe there is a moment when the eye gets very close to us, and that's when we can attack, because right now, my rockets ain't doing a thing. Right, when he's doing that attack, let's get the shots in. There we go. Okay, look at that boy. He is a hurt boy. His eye is hurt in. Now, I need one more Hamunk just to get this, but I think we might be able to do this. Okay. Okay, there we go. That phase is done. And we move on to the final phase, which I am so scared because if you don't do enough damage into him, he does a final, like, sort of wipe attack. And if you don't do enough damage then, then you are dead. But with this weapon, anything is possible. So come on, boys. Okay, all that matters really is the eye. Okay, so let's get some damage into it now. Okay, more attacks on it. If we can. Okay, he's just kind of looking around. He's a bit... He's a bit worried right now. I reckon he's sweating. Okay, here we go. This is it. Right. I need to do max damage here. Come on, come on, come on. Please. I might have thrown that homunculus a bit late. I think we might have been good. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let me tell you, the solo version of this is nowhere near as scary. Okay, let's get some more damage into him. So it's, I need him to move again. He's just staying there right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we've got a Blight Father in now. All right, it's not important to take put damage into him right this second because we need to take that blight out. Right, I'm going to pop my own max ammo just because we are very low on ammo for our Elyon right now. Okay, he's doing it again. Right. A monk out. Come on, come on. Come on, I need to reload. I need to reload. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo, okay, we are good. We are good. We are good. We did just about enough damage then. The reloads, man. Okay, this should be the third and final phase. I'm making this look really easy. But if you don't have this rocket launcher, it is very difficult. Okay, he's moving over here. So let's put some shots into him here if we can. Okay, I'm Hamunkin. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. All right, so let's throw that down there. Some good shots on him here. That's okay, there we go. Wipe attack. I had a feeling. All right, this should be it. This should be it. Yes, go! Yes! Voyage of Despair! Done! Solo! Let's go! Oh! 
I feel like I've completed life. I have never beaten that on solo before. It's always been too difficult, but man, oh man, we done it. And here is the cutscene where everything gets put back to normal, it seems. Suddenly, the Titanic is back to normal. Here's our chaos crew. Like, what is going on here? And really weirdly, none of them talk during this moment. Like, they've come down to the mail rooms and they notice this thing. Like, they're not hallucinating. They can all see that, especially Shaw. And he's like, hang on a minute. I recognize that. And then, uh-oh, the water's coming. The Titanics are flooding. They gotta go. Then it just sort of disappears. Shaw's mega confused. But, you know, they gotta go. It's a life or death situation. And what is mad is right at this point, everyone's running for their lives. And the Chaos crew leave every single person to die on the Titanic, just like in real life. They were the only survivors, which is kind of mental. Okay, no, there's a few people that survived. You see boats, here we go. It all just went back to how it was before. No one will ever know. That apparition. I've seen it before. I know where it is. Is it somewhere you've been? Uh, no. Only in books. But I do know its location. Uh, Greece. Delphi, to be specific. Then that's where we're going next. If the bad guys are there, there's a good chance my father is too. And that's a hint towards ancient evil and the fact that Bruno himself is evil. But there we go. Let's jump over to the next map, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're spawned on separate sides like for Rook. That's pretty cool. It is pretty it good. It is pretty good. All right, shop and free. Oh, none of us are the uh, the butler. That's sad. I like the little cutscene with the tree. Oh my god, he's popping everything. Look at that. Let's go for the raindrops real quick. Get the round flips. We'll get this shield built right now as well. Thank you for giving me death perception. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I I do think this map is probably one of the most underrated zombies it's maps amazing. ever. I yeah, I don't I don't understand why people don't like it. Along with Ancient Evil, try my best to get everything open, but I've only gotten the cemetery part of the map open. That's all right. I didn't get the pat bit or the uh, other bit. Oh, hey, and oh, look at that. You're showering me with perks today, boys. I am. I am. I'm also hitting the mystery box and hopes we get something good. Yeah, the, the one thing I do remember about this map is the shield parts, but I'm sure you've already started picking them up. Right, I'll start getting a uh, pap open, doing the little crystals. Just imagine how good this game would be if it got two years of zombie maps. I know, right? I know. Sad, sad times. This game could actually have been like the greatest zombies game ever. And we'll never know. Okay, we've got the big clock. Ah, oh, nice. It's in the, in the main hall. There's something that's also pretty mental about Black Ops 4. It's like, I'm pretty sure that they like wanted to have maybe one Chaos map at launch and one Aoife. And then the others were supposed to be like DLC. Then they worked like overtime to get all those other maps ready to drop so many on launch day. Those all could have been DLCs. They really could have. I know. And it would have been like, oh, you got a new map every few months. It's like, wow. But then it's like, what would the community response be if they dropped Classified as one of those maps where... There's just not that much depth to it, you know? Would people be disappointed? Yeah. I think it would have had to be like... Yeah, it's a weird one, though, isn't it? If they would have gone, there is a cutscene. 100% there's one in the, in the map. That might have been like, oh, how do we trigger it? And it would have been like constantly playing the map. And someone would have eventually got it. I think they would have had to announce that there is, in fact, a cutscene, but they're not going to tell you how to get it. Because I'm thinking, right, if Classified maybe was going to be a DLC map, that they could have had more time to work on, like, the, the Easter egg. Like, there could have been, like, a much bigger quest to it than what we got. And it wouldn't have been round 150 for the the ending. It would be something completely different. Like, if, like, say what you want about Black Ops 4, but you can't knock how creative Treyarch were with every single map. I really like Black Ops 4. Yeah, I mean, it's not... As good as BO3, don't get me wrong. It's just different. Doesn't mean it's doesn't mean it's bad though. I just feel like this game just is trying to be so many things. Yeah, it's like they just didn't know what to do. Yeah, like you got you got futuristic guns, you got really old World War II guns, you've got weird guns, you've got all sorts. It's just yeah. Gonna bring these zombies up. I Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Very little bit of trivia about this map is uh the character Pete's is playing as actually was in World at War. He was a uh, Sergeant Roebuck in the campaign of World at War. We'll fly through this Easter egg now. Yeah, we'll absolutely fly through it. I do remember a fair amount of it, to be fair. Like you got It's mostly getting the Wonder Weapon upgraded and doing yeah. stuff with it. Oh, look, there he is, Wolfie. I'm going to absolutely murk this guy. You'll Please, see. never like this dude, so murk him. 
Oh, he's not dead? Really? Okay, <laughs> okay we're going through our first lockdown, John. I think. Okay, so what is step one again? I'm trying to remember. Oh, we gotta go through. We gotta look through the crystals again. I forgot. You can't start it until you look through the crystals again. Can you imagine that? That's, That's a mental. But I'll go downstairs. I've gotta shoot this spire with the silver bullets weapon, but it's not working. We both need to shoot it at the same time on co op. Wow, that's dumb. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's mad, isn't it? And that falls down, and then something pops a little branch. Well, I'm just doing this as an actual one, but we can go and uh, do this challenge right now. This little weird puzzle thing. Okay. okay. Let's see if I remember anything here. I'm hoping I do. Isn't it very simple? Yeah, if you know what to do. I'm pretty certain I know what to do. Six. There we go. Bingo. Look at that. What a man, man. <laughs> We've got to look for scratches, don't we? Yeah. See, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. I, think I can almost remember most of the spawns for him as well. Hey, there we go. This thing turns around. HVS. You just got to keep twisting that. Yeah, and then hits it. Oh, <laughs> and hits it quick enough. Brilliant. There you go. Nice. Let me turn this on. You go through there. And you electrocute it. Yeah, there you go. Alistair was always at hot Cool. Nice. Did we both had to do that though. Yeah, I think we did. Because you were hitting it yeah. and it weren't working. Yeah. And I was like, I might as well just have it backed up just in case. Uh, let's go. Yeah, you just got to keep holding on it. So dumb. So random. There we go. Let me kill these guys to get the... Uh... Oh yeah, get your part. Hey, you're the only one that can actually kill anything right now. Oh, my controller disconnected. Right, it should be fine. A werewolf for them. Yeah, there we go. Let's run with it. Beautiful. And teleport back and we're good to go. So weird that on this map, when you're doing the Easter egg, there's no like hints when you like press back. What's the next step? You got to get Alistair's uh, fully upgraded. Yeah, I'm doing it as we speak. Easy. I wouldn't mind one of those myself, you know? Right, Mog fully upgraded so I can actually kill things now. This is nice. I like the upgrades on this. It's not too difficult, is it? Right, here we are. So now you're making Prima Materia. Is that right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know your stuff, John. I remember. I listened to the storyline. Oh, that machine's just churning away. Oh, you see that? Oh, my God. I love how the detail in this map, you see things happen and the map actually shows you effects of what's going on. Like, I just saw something splatter inside of this cage. There you go. He's got it. He's um, got yeah, the full upgrade. Uh, we can go over and start the next step in the graveyard. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got to do the uh, fireplace thing now, isn't it? Yeah. Now you've got that fully uh, upgraded. Oh, mate, silver bullets is expensive. I forgot. I've also, I've got a fire gate trap. So should I pop it down in the library? I've already done it, but yeah, you can put oh, it somewhere else. <laughs> it might be you that has to go into that mode. Yeah, it is. Over on your grave. Oh, grave okay, zone. yeah, yeah. Well, there I am, yeah. You're in green? Oh, come over here, then. Whoa. There you go. You can get on there now. Oh, this is such a weird step. It's so cool. It's cool watching you on there. My I know. It's, it's so weird. I'm just going to fall to my doom. Yeah. That's so sick. They, did really they need to They need to do more stuff like that. It's just no comparison what we're getting in a minute. It's not even close. All right, here we go. Now I'm in ghost form. Now you got to go and find the ghost. Typically, I normally find her inside the bedroom. All right, here we go. Some of the celebrities, they have such funny voices, voice lines, yeah. man. It's like, hello, can you hear me? Uh, Yep, she was in there. Nice. Now just follow Lovely. Her. It's probably the most British map we've ever had in zombies. Oh. And then she's gone into a fiery pit. And gone. Uh, I'm going to go activate uh, the slab, right? It's another lockdown. I wonder how different this game would have been received if this was a launch map. Pretty good, I think. Yeah. Imagine 9 as a uh, as a DLC. DLC. Jeez. Oh, that would have, it would have gone down really well. I'll oh, rest Red Nosferatu. See you later, mate. Yeah, I think these, these characters definitely deserve more than one map. 100%. I mean, so I'm many good lines. Know. Imagine going somewhere fancy for dinner and ending up dying to a werewolf. Not only that, the butler. This is the longest lockdown. I've had in a while. Oh, look at that. I pop one and then you get one. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Now it's where... I'm not, I'm not wait there. Wait there. You can... Tr Let me get this final thing and then you can bring that guy over with the gem. Is this, the, is, now, is this the fireplace step? Yeah. I've only got one more to go. Right. I'm taking this to Pack-A-Punch, aren't I? Was it? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got the other two point over now. Sonic Adventure was so good that they made a second one. 
and yeah, ported it, it over. Here we go. Just kills, lockdown, and boss fight. We're going to get a sub one hour time, John, which is Let's terrible. Let's go. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Yeah, I remember this. You get kills. The knights start charging forwards. Should help you get some points. All right. The knight, the last knight is nearly done. And then we're ready to go. For and there we go. Then. It's done. I just need to get another weapon that's not the mog. At the moment, it's the Paladin HP 50. Oh, my God. I got the Helion. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh my now, god, this is going to be so easy. You're going to interact with this uh, this triangular shape with me? Yeah, let's go. I'm interacting. I'm holding the interact button really hard right now. This is it. Can't wait to go to the boss fight. Boo, 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 boo. It's getting a little hectic in here. There we but go. no match, match for the Helion. Boss fight, boss fight boss ready. Fight. Don't even need the shield. Why would I need that? Straight to the boss fight. 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 Straight to the boss Let's fight. Go. To the boss Here we go. Ooh. You won't come back from the. Wish you got to walk down there. I know it's a bit weird, isn't it? Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. I always found it weird how he's got one eye glowing, and the other's not glowing. Yeah, is he like Odin or something? I thought at first it was like a texture glitch that Treyarch just forgot. And then I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. So, we've got to turn these statues to face this square. And stand in it and wait for the invisible werewolf. Come on. There he is. There he is. Oh, we, we should take him down in like one cycle here, I think. Yeah, the Helion's just too strong. I'm a Spitfire. Yeah, one cycle. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, we didn't grab the max ammo before it yeah, turned into good. a new one. Oh, also <laughs> dropped. Hey, once again, I say, have I ever seen Uncharted movie? The Uncharted movie. Um, oh, with Tom Holland. No, I've not watched it yet. Is this decent? It's the greatest movie I've ever seen, but it's uh, worth a watch. I could watch it. I'm not watched it yet. I'm assuming it'll be on a streaming platform in a couple of Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. In a couple of weeks, easily. Still the wrong way. <laughs> How is that not pointing there? There we go. There you go. Run back, run back. Hell in Zalbo time. Come on, Mr. Wolf. Werewolf. Three of a hamunk. Three, two, one. Go. And one. We should have single cycle. Should be single cycle. Come on. Two, three. Nope. Oh, my no, man did. Oh, I just got red screen. Oh, rotate that. Jesus, how did I go down? The hell? It's oh, like he ran into it at the very last second as it span around. And that there. What? He just downed me again. This this guy, man, this werewolf. It's like the easiest boss fight in the game. How how am I doing this? You know, uh, even popping in stuff. And he's going to die instantly. Boom. Boom. There we go. Pulled it. Could be. Like, it's terrible. You know, it's At least we finished it. We finished it in 1P. Here we have the ending to Dead of the Night, which is uh, wild to me. It's the longest cutscene I think we've ever had in Zombies and uh, also probably one of the craziest in terms of scale. So much happens. So much death. Plot twists. Environments out of nowhere, Scarlet arrives, Where is shoots father? Godfrey, and then what asks him questions that she shouldn't Whoa. ask whilst he's literally bleeding you out. Love how right here, Scarlet doesn't miss a single bullet while these guys just can't hit straight. They really can't. Poor Alistair, man. What's he done to deserve this? My dearest Scarlet, if I have already fallen prey to the Order, these are the only people I trust to help you stop them. And there is the Chaos Crew. There we go. Dead of the Night. Done and dusted. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ancient Evil from the Chaos Story of Black Ops 4 Zombies. And this map is so good. We're going to be going through the entire thing, re-experiencing this masterpiece three years on since it dropped, having a ton of fun along the way. I've also got a sponsor in this video that we'll talk about a little later on into the map. If you watched my previous video where we spoke about apparently what was supposed to be the next map, Maps following on in this storyline it sounded amazing you can just see alone from just this map that there is just above and beyond a quality with these maps that we've not seen since like i absolutely love cold war zombies but i feel like all of those maps were not as uh exciting as we have with these in terms of just the scale just how much incredible stuff there is this is leagues above now what we're doing here is literally just to get the power on in this map like look how chaotic it already is and then out of nowhere pegasus arrives and just takes out all of the zombies like 
how incredible does this still look? And off he goes, just like that. Now that Pegasus is flying around, we can basically fly on him whenever, but we also need to start the Easter egg, which involves us finding the wonder weapons, which are pretty easy, actually. And also doing a bunch of trials, which will get us uh, some awesome rewards, but we also need to do this. So might as well just start killing zombies with headshots, get this challenge going. I really like this map as like, it's very much like nine, where it's very friendly to players that are new to zombies. They can just jump in whenever. And doing challenges like this can get you some really good rewards early on, like pack a punch guns and perks and stuff. I'll honestly say it's the perfect Black Ops 4 map. Right, let's buy the Mog off the wall. Right, let's start another one, take damage and recover health. This is always a bit of a weird one. And look, there it is. Let's grab that. And then we pick up the dormant hand. All right, so here we go. Begin the initiation of Hemera. So to get these wonder weapons, you simply pick up a dormant hand. You then just stay in this little circle, kill a bunch of zombies until you have enough souls. Okay, so here we go. The fallen hand of Hemera. Now we should probably upgrade it. And I'm trying to remember exactly how. I think like that. Oh, yo, there we go. And there's also one here. And boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay, I think that's right. And then boom, boom, boom. Okay. Right, now for this next step, stamina up's definitely going to be needed. We've got to melee these bowls, take the light, and bring it back to where we originally got the hand. So there we go. And then run, 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 run. And there we go. There's one done. Onto bowl number two. There we go. I just realized I've got a perkaholic. Why did I bother buying my perks? All right, there we go. And also have a shopping free. Why have I been saving up points? Jesus. And boom, there we go. Now we can prove ourselves and we get the upgrades, which is awesome. The main lead designer on this map is Kevin Drew who's now lead systems designer at Treyarch. We've done a lot of work on Cold War and Outbreak. So I'm very confident that when he's the one behind masterpieces like this map, we should be in good hands. And there we go. Redeemed hand. Lovely. Time we take a ride on Pegasus. So let's pick up the golden bridle. Okay, so here he is. Look at this, man. Just the, the animations, the detail is incredible. And then we have our first of many in-game cutscenes for this map. You know, we see the transition of flying out of this map into the second part of the map. I mean, just look at that for environmental design, man. It looks so good. And then we get introduced to the main boss of the map. And here we are. Next part of this map and we've got our dormant hand now i'm gonna cheat a little and pop a shopping free <laughs> and open up the rest of this map let me know in the comments genuinely if you've never played this map before and if you've never even seen this map before because that would be absolutely wild okay let's work on our second hand the hand of sharon or charon which is kind of like the void bow of this map but it's really interesting as the zombies just sort of melt away when you shoot them and to upgrade you've got to kill them in this river of blood i think the detail within the map environment as well turning in with how you upgrade this thing is wild so now we get the option to drink from the river of sorrow okay but for this step of this we need to drink from the river of blood and around the map we need to be looking for these different sort of coins there's three of them that are real and they have an obtain symbol but if they're not real it will say to extinguish so we've already got one real one but during this mode if you get hit you do not recover your health so why i left it till the end of the round okay, there we go obtained i think we've done it and now if we place all of those we can then prove ourselves and we can get the upgrade again look how cool this environment is are you mental look at that we've got a little ghost boat just chilling doing its thing so now let's go and do pack a punch now you probably be able to hear that there's like these cages with birds around the map making noise just doing their own thing you need to go up to them and melee the cage open to let that bird free and there's also another one on the opposite side of the map okay there we go and let you out and now we have a little lockdown but the birds are destroying the crystals like i don't know how these developers come up with such cool little design concepts and stuff like this you know and there we go there's access to pack a punch and we can now leave this place and uh, go claim our rewards see what we're gonna get we left it a little later than i would have liked okay reveal our rewards so we get a perk? Do I get another perk? I don't know, but that was pretty cool. Okay, so now let's start another one. Now, another thing I love in this map is the shield. Like, wow, every Chaos map had a really unique shield, and this one in particular is amazing. Okay, well, here's our third Dormant Hand. I think we're going to get this one, which is going to be my second favorite one. Hand of Uranos, which essentially just is like a thunder gun in your hands. Okay, here we go. Look at this. It just launches zombies back. But in order to upgrade it, we need to shoot zombies on these feathers, which I think is a very cool, unique sort of Easter egg that you just wouldn't expect. 
when you shoot it, it launches like a little feather that you've got to shoot over to the shrine. So I think that's just straight away done. There we go. Also got another feather right there. So let's see. Hopefully Luna doesn't kill too many. Come on, Luna. Stop it. Okay, there we go. We've got one. So there we go. Boom. And you might have to shoot it again. Yep, there we go. And that should be good. And the third feather is right here. See, it's all coming back to me. It really is. Shoot it again. And then we can go and upgrade this. I like how simple the upgrades are for all of these wonder weapons. They aren't too crazy. Like that was just shooting zombies at a thing around the map. Look at this upgrade. Look at this. It's so good. Okay, there we go. We've got a legendary. There we go. We're done with our rewards. Let's claim this. Look, we get a papped. I think that's like a Galil. Oh, we got a fire sale as well. Let's go. Okay, so the first Easter egg set. Now we've done all of this and got set up is you need to melee this fire and as you see it lights up our shield and we need to melee three oil marks across the map we've got one on this rock second one here on this wall and this third one right here and you get this very dramatic shaking like oh what's going on and now the next step says look the dead in the eye and right here such a unique step we need to charge this up drop it down and all of a sudden we're in this weird like deathly vision where we're looking around for statues that have glowing blue eyes and you can see there's loads of skeletons spawning around but find four of them so that was one two three and four and there we go that completed the step this next step is pretty darn interesting there's walls that we've got to destroy I mean, that kind of makes it seem a little obvious. There is a cog going around and we've got to throw a spear in it at the exact right moment. So like, there, there we go. Got a second one out the map here, which is pretty difficult actually, is it's like a tiny little cog that's going around in a square shape and we've got to throw it at the exact right time. Okay, come on. Oh, we got it first time, I think. Yeah, let's go. Got a third one in here. So destroy that. Oh, we got that. Bang on as well. And this last one, we got these statues spinning around and there's another one right there. We need to throw it precisely when this statue is like close to looking at this crystal. Come this right like now. Oh, we got it on our first go. Hell yeah, baby. Look at that. The next step is scepter and sundial. If we come over here, there's this, what they call like an ank that we need. But in order to get this, we need a Gaganes, which should spawn probably next round. Feels like this weird shield attack. And when it stuns, it should crack this out of the crystal. And uh, we should get this. God, I've not missed Blight Fathers in Chaos Story. Oh, right, here we go. Here he is. All right, come on. There we go. Finally. Jeez, that was so stupid. And now we finally got that to drop. You then drop it into the Scepter of Ra. Now he's like, yo, give me something else, bro. And now we need to get the Redeemed Hand of Hamera. Drop it in Ra's hand. And then we got like a little lockdown. Okay. Wish me luck here, lads. Because this is quite a difficult step. Because uh, skeletons will spawn. And they try and jump in the way of the beam. Stop the beam from uh, going towards this cave. And it is, in general, quite a, quite a tricky little step here. We also have a Blight Father that will come in. Is he blocking it? I don't think he is, but I'm mainly focused on just stopping that from being blocked. Very unique step, though. Definitely a unique step. Okay, I don't know if we did it or not. I don't think we did. I think we might have failed it right at the last moment there. Okay, let's try this again. This step is really freaking difficult dude oh my god i've done the step somehow jesus okay well, there's the pegasus strike going ham right now but in here we should have the scepter that we can then hand to our boy and then he does that like this this easter egg it's just got so many elements of crazy things that happen with the map itself and then it rises up another mirror sweet okay remember this step correctly there's this thing out the map we need to shoot and it's going to spawn a few more branches so we got to shoot there it gets that it spawns these i think you need to shoot it like there and there we go it spawns the kick and knees all right i remember this step was a lot more difficult than it was step a lot more difficult than i made it look like you had to get the positions perfect otherwise uh you weren't gonna get this done anyway that was rude of him but he drops this pole which we can now hop in here so let me just pop my perkaholic <laughs> okay so now what i need to do is i think i need to kill an electric zombie and it's going to open like a slot here so we got our catalyst zombie and what i need to do is i need to kill it on that thing okay, so now we killed a catalyst we'll see we got the blue one there and then it's going to keep ticking but we need to get it on that one so we know there's one two three four so once it's shown the blue one two three four there we go. That's done. So now we need to kill two more. Okay, final one now. That is going really fast. We need one, two, three, four again. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. Let's go. Green shaking. The pole's been absorbed. We can move on to the next step. Hallelujah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this next step is without question one of the 
coolest steps in any zombies map ever such a cool easter egg step so this is the spotlight easter egg step so we jump on this it now begins one of the most intense little steps ever so you gotta to run to the spotlight and you gotta basically kill a load of zombies run to the next spotlight and then you'll see you have zombies lower ground and you've got zombies above ground. You've got to do all of that and run back to the spot. Repeat again. And it is such an intense step. Okay, so there's one round done. I'm probably not showing it off in the best light. I don't think this is the best gauntlet that we could have used to do this. I think maybe the uh, yellow one would be the best. Essentially, you get put on the spot and you just got to very, very quickly be able to react to what's happening and complete each one without, without failing. You don't have a lot of time to do this. This step in four player is absolutely exhilarating. Make sure everyone's like hitting their marks. They're ready. They're doing what they need to do. But here we go. Yeah, those fireworks sound like a good thing at the moment. Let's make sure we take out every single one. Okay, I think that's it. We're done. And the audience loved it. And there we go. We get uh, max ammo and we get a load of points as well. Okay, we are actually very close to the end of this Easter egg. We're so close to being done. The next step is there is a door here that needs to be shot with these symbols in a very specific order. I think it's one, two, three, four five and six and that's the symbols that you see in the intros for nine and uh, ancient evil now, if you're playing as bruno or Shaw, there is an insane cutscene that happens where you go inside of there and uh, i'm sure you guys know the twist it's incredible the storytelling in this map now we've got this pegasus strike symbol so let's pop that down there that's the next step and i look at pegasus there i'm pretty sure pegasus is going to electrify this big crossbow up here it's going to stand and use it right here there we go Align it up a little bit more. And there we go. As you see, we've got the laser burning at this egg. It's just like, how do we actually use the egg? So activate the trap. And as you see, our flaming beer is now acidic. And then if we go up to here and then melee, that should ignite it. Launches the bow and boom. Oh, that literally lit her on fire. I didn't even realize that. But then that shrinks and we're there is the boss fight. I'm going to go and grab the hand of Sharon because apparently this is the best one for the fight. But also really want the Helion Salvo. If we can get that, then we are going to be absolutely laughing. Oh my God. Let's go. We got it. All right. Let's go. All right. But let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Travel to the boss. You will not return. And then we have this, um, again, incredible cutscenes. The Black Ops 4 Chaos had such amazing looking cutscenes. Just look at that, man. Incredible. Now it's been a hot minute since I've done this boss fight, but if I remember correctly, we need to keep island hopping and every time Pegasus flies around, that's it. Okay, there he is. So now you just go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy on Pegasus. Okay, but now he's ruined that island, so we jump over to a different one. This is such a unique boss fight area as well. Just three floating islands on Pegasus. Oh, Lord. Wow, he really wrecked us. I don't remember getting wrecked that that quickly before. I also don't know how uh, powerful. Oh, that was very quick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And then special specialist weapon, specialist weapon. Go, 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 go. Okay, and that is phase one done. And we shoot over. Oh, we've got a max ammo as well. Sweet. I did not realize the Helion Salvo would be that good against him. And let's start training up a few zombies. And these little flames that he drops actually get your specialist weapon back a lot quicker. And I really like that they have that feature. Oh, we already got him down again. Oh, I don't have my specialist. What I'll do is I'll ray fire these zombies. Okay, Pegasus just doesn't want to come over here. Here he goes. He's coming over. Let's see. How quickly can we wreck him with this thing? White. Oh my god. Yeah. Who needs a specialist weapon when you got this? Wow. Okay, let's jump over. Another Max Ammo waiting for us. I'd like to think he's in his final phase at this point. Here we go. He's flying over. Let's see how many Helion Salvos. I've not shot him at all. Oh my god. It is too strong. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, we'll jump over onto this side. There we go. Poor Pegasus. I completely forgot that's what he did to him. <gasps> Yo, that's actually upset me. And now he's destroying all those other islands. So now we only have this one to fight him on. Okay, I need my special weapon in order to do any sort of damage to him. Maybe he's here. Maybe if I shoot him enough, I might actually get the special. Oh, there we go. But I still don't have the specialist. He's back here again. And there we go. I've got my specialist. Go, 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 go. Have we already done it? There's no way. On my first go, the specialist. Oh my God, we've already done it. <laughs> That was so quick. Helion Salvo is the goat. And then we've got the Oracle key. So let's pick it up. And there we go. Ancient evil completed. The most underrated zombies map in Trout history, in my opinion. And we all know what happens in this cutscene. I mean, 
I hope most of you know anyway. So we finally unlock the Oracle and set her free. And she releases Scarlet's father so we can go and save him. As we know, things are not as they seem. Man, I just miss cutscenes like this in Treyarch Zombies. This was the last time we got a full-on CGI in-game cutscene like this. And here is the plot twist. And then I remember people lost their minds when this moment happened. But essentially, Scarlet is sharing all of her knowledge of history, putting it inside of the Oracle's head. As we can see, she turned Alistair and everyone else to stone. Obviously, these guys are now evil. So Diego is all on his own at this point. And then we learn that she is Medusa. And this really saddens me to see how epic this ending was to this map and that we will never get another chaos map. I called this right from day one of solving this Easter egg back in 2019 that the chaos story went from like here to there. This map was incredible for the storyline. And it ends with her walking away and we will never know what happens. We will never know. That's honestly such a real shame. But let me know if you think it's the most underrated map in Zombies history. If you enjoyed the video and this look back, drop a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.